Hi guys, I will explain laminate theory part 4 from stiffness and the compliance metrics to summary. Here I have a quiz for you. Uh, what is the number of plies for the laminate code double symmetry over plus minus 60 and the plus minus 30? Number 1, 4. Number 2, 8. Number 3, 12. Number 4, 16. What is compliance? We are familiar with this equation uh, from Hooke's law. F is equal to kx. F is force, x is displacement, and k is material constant. In this equation, k is spring constant or stiffness. In, in the matrix form, this equation can be expressed F is equal to kx. Uh, let's change this equation to a different form. Displacement x can be expressed in terms of force k. Then uh, we have the constant which is reciprocal of stiffness k. Compliance is just the reciprocal of stiffness. We can write this equation in the matrix form. x is equal to 1 over k multiplied by f. Here, 1 over k is called compliance matrix. Now, I believe all of us have already been familiar with the stiffness matrix. At this point, a question may rise. Is it possible to express the strains and the curvatures in terms of forces and the moments? Of course, it's possible. I will just show the final result only uh, because almost all the relevant books explain this derivation in detail. For the laminate plate, uh, we can write uh, forces and uh, moments in terms of strains and curvatures uh, with stiffness matrix. Also, we can describe the strains and the curvatures in terms of forces and the moments with compliance matrix. This matrix equation shows the pool elements of compliance matrix for the laminate plate. The strains and the curvatures can be expressed in terms of forces and the moments with compliance matrix as shown here. Let's take one example to see each role of stiffness and the compliance element respectively and to compare them to each other. A left picture shows that curvature kappa xy produces tension and x in proportion to stiffness matrix B16. In the right picture, on the other hand, uh, depicts that moment mxy produces the strain epsilon x in proportion to compliance matrix element B16. This picture explains the way to uh, make a simple symbol for real laminate. Uh, left ones show the three-dimensional real sketches of plies. Upper one is the angle ply and the lower one is the cross ply. Our right ones are two-dimensional symbols corresponding to the left sketches. Seeing through uh, from the positive z to negative z in this direction, we can get uh, this simple symbol. Uh, be careful here uh, because vertical distance isn't the width of ply, uh, but the thickness of ply. And the chord shape is the bottom view. Chord angle theta is measured from the positive x-axis to positive y-axis. If the chord angle is perpendicular to x-axis like this, chord angle is 90. Cross ply uh, means its chord angle is 0 or 90 degrees. So all the plies are cross plies 
in the left picture are three zeros and three nineties. This is the short expression for this laminate structure, triple zero and triple nineties. Angle pi means its code angle is a non-zero value larger than uh, minus 90 degrees and less than uh, plus 90 degrees. So all the plies in the right picture are angle plies. Uh, this is the short expression for this laminate structure. It means uh, double the plus minus 30 degrees and the plus minus 60 degrees. Uh, let's define three kinds of laminates. Symmetric, antisymmetric, and asymmetric laminate. A symmetric laminate has the same code angle at the sequence number plus minus k from the mid plane. Consequently, the code angle of ply with the same distance away from mid plane are the same. As you can see here, this angle is the same as this one, and this angle is the is the same as this one. Finally, this angle is also the same as this one. The laminate code for, uh, for this picture is a symmetry of 60 and plus minus 30. Antisymmetric laminate has the opposite code angle at the sequence number plus minus k from the mid plane. Therefore, uh, the code angle of ply with the same distance away from mid plane are, are the opposite sense. As you can see here, uh, this angle is opposite this to this angle, and this angle is opposite to this angle. And finally, uh, this angle is the opposite to this angle. The laminate code for this picture is 60 double plus minus 30 and minus 60. Asymmetric laminate has the same meaning as unsymmetric laminate. Uh, there is no rule for stacking sequence for layers in the asymmetric laminate. All the laminate except for Symmetric and antisymmetric is asymmetric. Laminate code for uh, this picture is 60 plus minus 30, uh, double minus 30, and 30. Uh, let's look into what are the symmetric, antisymmetric, and the asymmetric laminate in the case of cross ply. When it comes to cross ply, Symmetric laminate is the same as antisymmetric one. In this example, a laminate code name is symmetry of double zero ninety. As in the previous slide, as in the previous slide, asymmetric laminate has no rule for stacking sequence for layers. In this example, the laminate code is Total zero double ninety zero ninety zero. Another important concept of a laminate sequence is so called balanced. The balanced laminate can exist in all the type of laminate asymmetric, antisymmetric, and asymmetric laminate. A balanced symmetric laminate has a sequence like plus theta 1, minus theta 1, plus theta 2, minus theta 2, minus theta 2, plus theta 2, uh, mi minus theta 1, plus theta 1. Uh, this type of laminate is uh, composed of pairs of plies uh, with the same material and the thickness. And in that one pair, uh, their code anchors are opposite each other. The structure of this type has mirror image with respect to the mid plane. 
uh, this picture shows this type, this type. The code name of this example is symmetry of plus minus 60 and plus minus 30. The balanced anti-symmetric laminate has a sequence like plus theta 1, plus theta 2, plus theta 3, minus theta 3, minus theta 2, minus theta 1. The middle picture here shows this type. As you can see here, uh, this angle is opposite this angle. This angle is opposite to this angle. And finally, this angle is opposite to this angle. The code name of this example is 60, double 30, uh, double minus 30, minus 60. The balanced asymmetric laminate has a sequence like plus theta 1, plus theta 2, plus theta 3, minus theta 1, minus theta 2, minus theta 3. Uh, write the picture here uh, shows this type. The code name of uh, this example is 60 double 30 minus 60 uh, double minus 30. I believe you have been familiar with laminate code. Let's look into the other new laminate codes. For the even number plies, double symmetry of plus minus 60 has 8 plies because in the first symmetry, there are 4 plies, which is symmetry of plus minus 60. But we have to go further because the index double symmetry 2s. Therefore, we have four more plies as shown here. Laminate codes for odd number can be expressed as these forms. A lower bar or upper bar has the same meaning, which means the center ply. This center ply exists only one time at the center of a symmetric laminate. Laminate code of this picture is 60, 30, 90, lower bar or upper bar. The answer to the quiz is number 4, 16. Here we have a summary. Compliance is just the reciprocal of stiffness. For the laminate plate, we can write the forces and the moments in terms of strains and the curvatures with stiffness. Also, we can describe the stress, strains and the curvatures in terms of forces and the moments uh, with compliance. Laminate codes are employed because of simple expression for laminate structure. Three kinds of laminate Classification will be symmetric, antisymmetric, asymmetric, angle ply, cross ply, balanced, and unbalanced. If you watch the previous videos, you can easily understand upcoming videos. In the previous video, E34, I explained how to calculate the forces and the moments for multilayer laminate composite plate. Recently, I explained how to find the role of individual stiffness elements. The next video will be Price Tier Part 10. I will explain the laminate theory Part 4 about the zero stiffness element distribution and their characteristics. Please hit the like and catch the brand new videos by free subscription. So what are you waiting for? See you in next video. Goodbye guys.